you will find their other half. And I just have to wake up and accept already that maybe there is no other half. You are no match for you. We live in a world ripped apart by trauma. Don't believe me? Just turn on the news and there it is. Another war, another attack, another epidemic. And even if we turn off the news, we're left with the reality of our lives and challenges within our own families, like illness, death, and broken relationships. And there's our regrets, our doubts, our insecurities, and our fears, all amplified by unhealed wounds from our past. So often we try to ignore these wounds, but over time it catches up with us, whether we like to admit it or not. Our past shapes us. It shapes not only how we see the world, but it literally changes our brains. From 1995 to 1997, Kaiser Permanente did a massive study over 17,000 subjects to try and better understand the way trauma experienced in the childhood impacted individuals long-term. In what is now known as the ACE study, because it focused on adverse childhood experiences, the subjects completed confidential surveys, allowing researchers to gather data on their experiences of physical, sexual, and emotional abuse. Also emotional and physical neglect, negative household experiences like divorce, addiction, violence, and incarceration. And the results were jaw dropping. The researchers found that not only were these adverse childhood experiences very common, particularly and especially amongst black folks, but that as the numbers of these experiences increased, so did the individual's risk for a whole host of problems later on in life. One might expect that there would be some mental health issues because of childhood pain, but the big surprise was the direct link between these painful experiences and the increased likelihood of having medical or social economic problems later in life, like addiction heart disease, liver disease, financial stress, academic problems, risky behaviors, such as unprotected sex or compulsive gambling, drinking, suicide attempts, and of course, domestic violence. But fear not gentlemen, for there is a ray of light in the midst of so much darkness in this world. Now, I'm not asking anyone out there to try any magic medication or any type of pills that your doctor may subscribe to you or, or prescribe to you. What I'm saying is that healing trauma naturally starts with recognizing initially that there is some sort of trauma there and then being proactive upon treatment of that trauma. So yes, gentlemen, you will have to do the work. And for one, such as myself, who lives with PTSD and trauma, not to mention past trauma, uh, it may be challenging at times, which is why I recommend traveling and getting out of your own way taking the time to relax, unwind, de-stress, and take a little time for yourself. See, I know what it's like, men, to be on that hustle and grind at seven day a week, making that money, chasing that dollar, 
And I tell you, brothers, it's not easy. I spent so much time, wasted so much time with the wrong people, dealing with the wrong females, putting my energy in the wrong places, which contributed to my trauma. I realized after so much time, knowledge is power and knowing how to deal with these traumas gave me the power over this, gave me the power to take my life back. And now I'm here to help others. My hope is that you men out there who's listening to my channel, who, who are going through trauma, that you seek help. You seek whatever means to help you get your life back in order. You see, pointing the finger and positioning blame only keeps us in, to, in the trauma. But remember, when you point one finger out, there's three of them pointing back to you. So take control, take the initiative, change your life for the better, travel, get out of your own way, see the world. It really does help, gentlemen, to relieve stress and to help you focus more on yourself. You have to learn how to live for you. We are too often as men programmed to sacrifice ourselves for females who don't even appreciate the love and the attention that we do give them. Now it's a new day, gentlemen. A new day is upon us, and I challenge you to take charge of your own personal situation. Quiet your mind. Sit still for some time. Go within and clean yourself out. It is time to detox, men. Not just physically or mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Clean yourself up. It is time to be about business, to get back on our square so that we as men can take back our power, so that we as men can step up once again and say, enough. We've had enough of the bullshit. We've had enough of the old pain. We've had enough of the trauma, of the chaos, the confusion, the crazy female drama that we get ourselves caught into. We had enough. It's time to take care of ourselves. It's time to heal ourselves. It's time to build ourselves back up. It's time to get back in the gym and get your ass out of that chair and be strong again. Take care of your traumas. Find that place of peace, your personal piece of paradise. Make it happen. But the fact that you're here and listening to this broadcast shows that you men have dealt with trauma. You are dealing with trauma and you are well aware of its repercussions. So let's all get help and let's help one another. This world is sick, y'all, and it needs healing. Never let up. Never give up. To our very last breath, we keep fighting. Until next time. This is the villain. Von Doom. You are no match for Doom. Stay well. Stay sharp. And if you need help, get that help. And I'm out.